सो हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू अवर चैनल इंट्रो मैक एंड हियर वी डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड देयर इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेशंस सो इन आवर प्रीवियस सेशंस वी हैव सीन अबाउट डिफरेंट इंडस्ट्रियल सेंसर्स वी हैव सीन लाइक इंडक्टिव कैपेसिटिव अल्ट्रासोनिक मैग्नेटिक सेंसर्स सो ऑल दीस सेंसर्स आर नॉन कांटेक्ट टाइप सेंसर्स सो टुडे वी विल आल्सो सी one type in non contact type sensors which are photoelectric sensors their working principle is different so let's check out what are these sensors so in photoelectric sensors also there are three different types so we will see one by one so first is the through beam sensor now the through beam sensor has a emitter and a receiver you could see here and the sensing object let's say is in between the emitter and the receiver so what will happen when the part is not present the emitted light is received by the receiver and as soon as we introduce some part in between them this continuous beam of light gets interrupted and thus we will get a signal that the object is present or it senses the object right so we could see here as soon as there is interruption it reduces the amount of light that is received by the receiver and this reduction in the light intensity is used to detect the object so here we have emitter and receiver which are separate and the part is being introduced in between them and the continuous beam of light is getting interrupted the light can be infrared or red light depending on your sensing range now let's see the second type which is called as a retro reflective sensor now here what we have is a sensor and a retro reflector now in this case also we have a emitter and receiver but the difference is the emitter and a receiver are in the same module here you could see like in first case the emitter and receiver are different but here we have the receiver and emitter are in the same module and we have a retro reflector a reflector piece so what is happening let's consider there is no part in between so the light is passing it is getting transmitted and then the reflector is reflecting this light and that reflected light is getting received by the receiver in the sensor right now what will happen when we insert a part in between these two the emitter is the light produced by the emitter is reflected back to the receiver with a reflector so when the light beam is obstructed the output signal of the sensor will changes its state right so initially the receiver is receiving the light from the retro reflector but now it is getting interrupted so the signal is sent and that's how the retro reflector works the third type is diffuse reflective sensor now here we use the reflection uh we use the reflection to detect the presence of object here you could see we have a sensor and again the emitter and receiver are in the same module but we don't have any kind of re retro reflector also so the uh, light is passed on the object the object reflects some amount of light and some amount of light is transmitted so the light which is reflected by the object is received by the sensor and on that basis it senses that uh, the object is present or not so the diffuse type of sensor you could see we don't have any kind of reflector or something like that so it is dependent on the part like the color the shine of the part the material of the part because what happens if the part has different properties the amount of light that is getting reflected from the object is, is the different the intensity will be different right 
so it can create some false alarms or the surrounding light also contribute uh, to this diffuse type of sensor so it is not that much reliable as compared to other two sensors so these are the basic three types so let's check out the examples the applications now this is the first application you could see here the there is a red light and the objects are passing and the light is getting interrupted and you could see the signal is changing on the sensor this is the first application now let's check out the second example you could see the object is passing uh, through the conveyor and we have a emitter and a receiver on the same side and we have some kind of reflector over here which is initially reflecting the light uh, right and as soon as the object comes in between you could see the change in the output of the sensor now let's check out the third application now here you could see there is only one sensor over here and the object is placed in front of the sensor and when the object is in front of sensor it is getting detected so can you now guess which type of sensor is used in these applications so let's check out so yes this is a through beam sensor we can see there is a transmitter and a receiver both are separate over here and the beam of light is getting obstructed and then it is getting sensed right then this is a retro reflective why because the emitter and receiver are in the same housing and we have a separate retro reflector over here that's why it is a retro reflective type and this one is diffuse type why because we have only one sensor over here we don't have anything and it has inbuilt a sensor a transmitter and a receiver that's why this is the application of diffuse type of sensor so let's check out now how we can select this sensor so go on to the omron site and omron is one of the largest manufacturer of the sensors it has a great experience in industrial automation field and we are taking this as an example so let's go into the products of uh, omron you can see the home and it offers huge variety of uh, products so let's check out the products over here we have sensors like switches then safety components and relays and so many other things so it offers a huge variety and uh, we are looking for photoelectric sensors right so here are they so let's check out photoelectric sensors so here again we have different types like separate amplifiers built-in ampli amplifiers built-in power supply area sensors accessories these different types are there so separate amplifier the amplifier is different and the sensor is different built-in amplifier the amplifier is uh, built into the sensor head so this is compact one so let's check out uh, the built-in amplifiers first so the accessories are covers mounting brackets leads and other things are also there so we can select those also so let's check out the built-in amplifiers then in built-in amplifier we have a huge variety of uh, you know categories based on the applications the distance setable photoelectric sensors we have the oil resistant the io link color mark photoelectric sensor transparent object detection so on the basis of their particular application again the sensors are categorized then ultrasound ultra compact sensors we have uh, with built-in amplifier then compact electric sensor with built-in amplifier so this is the standard for uh, photoelectric sensor so let's check out the standard series that is the e3z series now here uh, we have the long sensing distances up to 30 meter for through beam models 4 meter for retro reflective and 1 meter for diffuse type so you could see the uh, sensing distance how it is varied according to the type the diffuse sensors have very less range as compared to the through beam sensors so let's check out uh, some of the uh, say specifications or we can check out the catalog because catalog contains a huge variety of data and uh, we must read the catalog 
so let's check out the catalog so this is the catalog the general purpose sensors like in compact plastic housing the e3z series you can see through beam sensor the 30 meter range retroreflective model with 4 meter range and diffuse re uh, reflective model with 1 meter of range so on the basis of range application we can go for these sensors so the different advantages and other things are mentioned over here the applications are mentioned over here how you can mount use these different type of sensors and, and here is the ordering information for the sensors right so first is like through beam their shape they have mentioned the sensing distances they have mentioned uh, right the pre-wired the connector type right and then the model again there is NP and NP NP these are like electrical things you could see the T T uh, in the model indicates that through beam sensor right so these are the ordering codes and according to the range we can order these and t indicates the through beam right then we have a retro reflective model up to four meter of range and the codes are mentioned over here and r indicate the retro reflective model then we have diffuse reflective with 5 to 100 mm of uh, range and then one meter of range and the codes are given over here and the d again indicates the diffuse type of sensor so these are the ordering codes and on the basis of these codes we can uh, order the sensors then let's see what other information is given over here the reflectors these are not provided the retro reflective model so we have to order them separately so we should also know these things that we have to order them separately the reflector uh, is different right then we have different types of mounting brackets so mounting is very important as far as sensors are concerned because it affects the range and all other things of the sensor so they should be properly mounted so it is given some standard mountings the adjustable mountings over here we can directly bring these uh, mounting brackets and can mount the sensors then the rating performances are given over here like the sensing distances and other things the sensor type and the things are mentioned over here you could see the standard sensing object they have mentioned then the other rating performances are given the graphs are given the graphs are very important the characteristic data the operating ranges narrow beam and other things they have mentioned uh, the distances y and the distance uh, they have mentioned over here so the graphs are very important you should go through them while selecting uh, any particular sensor then the nomenclature is mentioned that how we can select it the receiver the codes the how we should read the different indicators on the sensors right then the operation is given the mounting method are given so all these things matter a lot and that's why you should properly go through the catalog the dimensions are mentioned over here what is the size and the mounting hole sizes the cable connectors their orientations these small things also matters a lot because cable routing is a very important aspect as far as machine design is concerned right and then at the end there are some accessories which should be ordered separately sometimes we require some kind of slits or uh, to focus the beam and that's why these accessories can also be mounted in front of the sensor so we should know about that so this is all about the photoelectric sensors the different types of photoelectric sensors the through beam the retro reflective and the diffuse type and how we can check out them in the catalog how we can read the different specifications and how we can order them so let's see uh, what is the differences between them in a compiled manner so we have seen the working principles of these sensors so through beam sensors what are their benefits they are most accurate uh, they have the longest sensing range right 
and they can detect the objects independent of color and reflectability of the source right because anything that comes in between the path gets detected then we have retro reflective they are space saving right because the emitter and receiver are in the same housing faster installation because we have to mount only this thing and we have to mount it but with less efforts and this is cost effective because the single device is there this is just a retro reflector it don't have any kind of wiring and then we have a diffuse reflective sensor this is very space saving again we have a uh, reflector and emitter in the same housing and we don't even need any kind of retro reflector the installation is very fast because we have to mount only this thing and cost effective these uh, it has least cost because it is a single device right and if we consider the range the range is very less in case of diffuse uh, reflective sensor uh, and through beam sensor has a very huge range then disadvantage of through beam sensor like they must install properly and cost is very high what are the disadvantage of retro reflective the highly reflective surfaces may give some false triggers right and uh, the sensing distances is less the range is less and for diffuse type the shortest sensing distance and they are also affected by the surrounding uh, light and it can give some false results also so applications you could see what are the different applications of all these uh, sensors so this is all about the photoelectric sensors and uh, I hope you understood the different types of photoelectric sensors and uh, how they can be selected, what are their different characteristics and how to read the catalog. So if you have any doubts, please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there. So thank you for the patient listening. Stay home, stay happy. Thank you.